Version 6.1 of Studio One brings some improvements to the way lyrics work inside of Studio One. If you're not familiar, we have a lyrics track. So when I enter the lyrics for this song, they show up here. And it's kind of a follow the bouncing ball situation. As the song plays, the lyric track will move and highlight in blue the current lyric, but it also works the other way. I can click on a lyric and it'll jump to that section of the song. Well, this has been a really popular feature, of, of course, with songwriters, uh, but with version 6.1, we've added the lyric display and the lyric track to the show page. So if you use a song to create your show, and the show is something that you can use for a live performance, like let's say a live stream performance where you've got a few backing tracks, or maybe you're playing guitar and you're running it through Studio One, through Empire, and a few other plugins to create a cool ambient sound. All of that can be done in the show page, but up until now, you've had to kind of put your lyrics somewhere else, right? Either print them out or have another app open that would show you your lyrics. Well, now it's all built into Studio One. So as you can see here, we now have a lyrics lane in Studio One, and it shows up the same way it does in the song page, and we now have our lyrics available to us. The best part, though, is once you build out your song, if you switch over to Perform View, you now have one of your views uh, allows you to see the lyrics. And here's the best part. When we hit play... Always thought that I'd be from this one view, I can see the current lyric and I can also see the upcoming chords that are happening in the song. Really handy. There are also a couple improvements to the way lyrics work in the song page. You can now have separate lyrics for scratch pads. If you're not familiar with scratch pads, here it's this little button right here. If you've never used it, it opens up a separate window over here where you can try out ideas without having to commit them to the final version of the song. I actually used a couple of different scratch pads when I was writing this song to kind of figure out the drum groove and things like that. And what you can do is you can add in, if you have lyric ideas along the way, you can add them in here as well. So I just literally double click and write in, when you wish upon a presonus, and now that's added in as a lyric, and that's separate from the song lyrics over here. So I can have all of my different scratch. Maybe I have a cool vocal part and I throw a lyric on there. They're all saved together so I can always get back to them all within Studio One. So you don't have to have a separate app with your lyrics and another app with your chord charts. We want to have it all under the same hood because then it all gets saved with one file and you can open it up right there and stay inside of the kind of the Studio One environment, if that makes sense. And the way this works out is if I open up the lyric view, you can see if I'm if my cursor is over inside of the song page, the main area, the arranger, then we've got the lyrics there. But if I switch over to this scratch pad, then it switches the lyrics display. And I can switch between scratch pads and it'll <laughs> this is a similar lyric I wrote before. Um, and it'll switch to correspond with wherever my playhead is in the session. And if you own a tablet, put it to work on your Studio One sessions. It can control pretty much everything in Studio One, but now we also have lyric support inside of the Studio One remote app. This is great, for example, if you wanna do a vocal session and maybe you wanna record back over there. Maybe you've built kind of a little vocal booth area and you wanna be able to start and stop transport and do all the controls in Studio One, but you'd also like your lyrics as well. You can have them all just right here on your tablet. So you don't have to keep running back and forth to the mix position to hit play and then hit record and run back. You can control it all here without needing any extra cables or any extra pieces of equipment. If you haven't played around with the lyric track yet, try it on your next song. It might be a valuable addition to your songwriting and production workflow.